Hello friends, welcome back. And for anyone who's new, welcome. Today I'm going to try something new and take you along. In our household, Robbie usually makes the pasta and I've decided that it's something I wanna learn how to do. So I'm going to try my hand by making some homemade pasta. I have measured out my flour, my eggs. I'm now gonna dump it on the counter, make a well, a hole in the middle, put the egg in. Once I make the well, I'm going to use my handy dandy little scraper here to mix it up and combine the dough. I'm gonna knead it for about 10 minutes, let it rest for a half an hour, then I'm gonna use my KitchenAid attachment to actually roll out the dough um, and then I'm going to cut it with this fancy little pasta cutter and with that I will then, uh, I think I'm going to try to make farfalle. Every time we do this, and I say we, I mean Robbie, every time Robbie does this he just makes spaghetti because this, um, the pasta roller here, once you make the sheets you feed it through and you can make the dough, or excuse me, you can make spaghetti but I'm gonna try to make a little uh, bow tie pasta for Polly, so that way maybe I can dry some and save it. When we try to save spaghetti, uh, we can dry it. It just gets all crumbly and it falls apart, so I'm gonna try to make this kind to see if we can store it for later use. That's the plan anyway. Stick around and we'll see what happens. Okay, my dough is rusting. I just wanted to share some of my first timer tips. Um, I'm gonna show you the whole process. I will speed it up a little bit because I did need for about 10 minutes. 
but in the beginning I didn't think the dough was coming together with the scraper I had and I got my hands in there trust the scraper keep going with the scraper because as soon as I got my hands in there it just started getting sticky and I found that I had to then go wash my hands the scraper off and when I just kept using the scraper it worked out perfectly um, besides that I think it went well. We'll see what happens once we get it rolled out. And yeah, stay tuned. Let's see what happens. So I'm poking my head in here. Oh, it's a little close. So my first round was a little bit of a challenge. And what I found is that my dough is a little too wet. And so when I was putting it through the ringer here, all it was doing was sticking. And so I turned to my trusty friend, the internet, and what I need to do, which is what I'm doing now, is just adding some flour into the dough kneading it in a little bit before I start again. All right, let's try this again. Yeah. So I start off at a thick, a thicker roll, and then I just start feeding it through to make it thinner. Try that again. Also, this is the joy in trying things out and uh, doing things for the first time is every time is a learning experience. And uh, I like to challenge myself. As a family who homeschools, uh, we like to say that we are lifetime learners, which means we are never done learning. Let's try it again. Nope. I'll show you what's happening just binding up. See how it's just binding up? One more time. Let's see what happens. I'm laying it down in flour every time I go to a skinnier setting. But honestly, this is the joy in cooking. Learning, figuring it out, and then when it works, 
It's a triumph. Still have. Let's cut that. Okay. Ooh. All right. I'm working with limited space here, so I just rolled out two of the eight little balls that I made. I'm going to try cutting them and shaping them and we'll do it in a uh, a few at a time fashion to make this a little easier. All right. What I'm doing is, is I'm making little squares because then these little squares are gonna get pinched in the middle and that's what makes the bow tie. Through all of my internet research, this seemed like the, the easiest to make by hand. And then It should just be as simple as <gasps> putting it together and pinching it together. So it's about like Pinching it and it's getting too little. I don't know if you can see, yeah, the, from that side. Pinching it and then putting it together. Are these going to look perfect? Absolutely not. Are they going to taste delicious? Absolutely. I'm now going to put this on a baking sheet to let it dry out and we're going to do this six more times. I'm going to come back and I'll record the last one I do so that way you can see the just difference between the first try and then the last try just to show you how quickly you can pick up on something, become proficient. I don't know if you'll ever become proficient but um, I mean that looks like a little bow tie. That's exciting. Sometimes these things can be uh, frustrating because we don't quite, uh, we live in a world where we get instant gratification and something, we snap our fingers and we have something. So to take the time to, to do this is uh, something I really enjoy. And I enjoy sharing it with you. So here is my last batch, 
that I rolled out and made. We have some drying over here. We have some drying back here. And then I've cooked some up here. And now I'm going to get to boiling the rest. I wanted to share a couple takeaways before I end the video. A few things to note. This took me three and a half hours to do from start to finish. So it is something you want to have time to do, have space to do, uh, and have the, the mental and the brain space to do. It definitely got easier as I went along, uh, making the shapes and then rolling, rolling the dough out. Uh, I don't know if you can see around me, but it most definitely made a mess. Uh, so that's been, uh, it'll take a little bit more cleanup than normal. And today I am going to cook all the pasta because I know over the next few days we will eat it. Tonight I'm going to make a butternut squash, uh, really like thick, sauce and we'll eat it with that and then I'll save some of it maybe I'll make a pasta salad um, but you can leave it out in the sun or at room temperature it can dry and then it can be stored in containers and used uh, just like you would regular pasta I'm cooking it fresh so it only boils for about three to five minutes if it gets dry I boil it a little bit longer but really you're just boiling it to how you want to eat it the taste that you like the texture you like and yeah it was a fun day in the kitchen I hope you learned some things along with me I know it was definitely a moment of patience for myself and happy pasting I love you